So I've popped this into a separate video. Uh, it's still a visualization, but I thought it'd be worth just covering tables in a separate uh, video. So as we know, we previously added our two charts. So let's just make these a bit smaller and fit them on the page. Um, if you haven't seen already, Power BI is great because it gives you the ability to get these dotted lines to help you line up your visual, whether it's with another visual like the pie chart, or if it comes to centering it on the page like so. So I'm just gonna pop mine at the top here for the time being, let's condense that down like that. And the same with the pie chart, trying to do this quickly, simply for the benefit of just making some space for a table. Okay, we've got a bit of space here. So when it comes to adding tables, all we need to do is navigate again in our visualizations pane, and you see we've got this table icon here. So I'm simply gonna select or click it, even if I could say that. Let's just now make this a bit bigger. And very simply, all we can do, or all we need to do here is now drag in our applicable fields. So maybe we would like task ID, maybe we'd like the date it was raised, uh, maybe we could go for the actual start date, the actual end date, and maybe a, a priority might be, uh, we'll put it after task ID, a description might be handy, so we'll pop that in there. So we've got some useful information now in our table. And similarly, when we added our dates to our charts above, you can see by default, it's given us our date hierarchy, which again, may be useful for you in your table. But if you want to simply just show the actual date value, all you need to do is go to your uh, applicable date fields, select the drop down and go to date raised. Alternatively, if you did want to leave in some of that information, so for actual end, maybe you do want to have the year and the quarter there, you could just delete month and day, and you can see that you're left with just the year and the quarter. However, let's just change this one back for consistency to actual end. And you can see we've now got some detail in our table. So nice, short and sort of precise video, hopefully. Uh, and again, hopefully this is not too different from adding visuals uh, in terms of like the graphs. Uh, one thing I have missed, again, you do have the format option available to you. So you can go through and format all of your uh, applicable uh, formatting needs. Um, if, however, you do want to apply formatting or logic to a specific column, again, within the visual tab, go to specific column, and this will allow you to select your specific column. Sorry, how many times can I say that word? And this is where you can now apply formatting to simply just the description column. So hopefully that is again, another piece of useful information for you to play with. And as always, again, now will be a good time for you to play around with this table or adding a table to your report and get used to moving around your various visuals around the page. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, if you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.